Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm Jenny Prochko from Owls and Indigo and I make videos about secular spirituality, writing and journaling prompts, little tidbits about the moon, mental health and awareness, and my story. Today I wanted to share with you a couple of reasons why gingy cats are super awesome and give you a chance to get to know our gingy cat, Zoya, a little bit better. Zoya was our first kitty in a couple of years. Uh, we had two rescues before her, and she is our third rescue. Zoe is a little bit over two years now. So let's go ahead and get into why gingy cats are awesome. But first, let's let this gingy cat go, and let's see if maybe she'll come back later. Okay, go ahead. Go, go. Reason number one why gingy cats are awesome, they are always ready for the holidays. Uh, while black cats always are dressed to impress with their little LBDs, gingy cats with their gingy spiciness are always ready for fall and winter holidays. And they're just super spicy in their own right. Number two, gingy cats come in five different coat types. The classic swirled, the mackerel, which is the striped gingy cat, the spotted, ticked, and patched. Zoya actually has spots and mackerel stripes. And she has little white paws and a little white star on her face and a super cute white belly when she just flips over and is like, oh human, I love you. And then she'll attack. She'll be like, I'm so sweet, I love you. And then she'll get you. So just like one of my best friends who is a human ginger, gingy cats also get their pigment from a specific gene. And that gene has a pigment associated with it called pheomelanin. And that's what gives gingy cats their reddish, orangey hue, which is the exact same pigment that produces red hair in humans. And fun fact, my mom is actually a redhead. Uh, I had dark red hair when I was a baby, and then all of a sudden I went toehead blonde, and then it's just been getting darker ever since, and turned into like a strawberry blonde, and now as I get older it's going to like a uh, darker blonde color. So my hair has changed a lot. We have a lawnmower outside being super annoying during filming and Zoya's not a fan either, so we're just gonna hang out. Number four, tabbies aren't actually a breed, which I knew, but what I didn't know was tabby just refers to the coat patterns and tabbies can come in four different coat patterns. Actually, when I was growing up on the farm, I thought that tabby cats were like the mutts of the cat world and they were just like a mix of different breeds and they were just like, you know, a run of the mill cat. But apparently that's not true. So Zoya is super special. She is a gingy female, which is pretty rare. Normally orange cats are male and it's about 80% that are male and 20% that are female. So this is because of the ginger gene, which produces the orange color. It's one of the X chromosomes. Females have two X chromosomes and a need two copies of this gene to become a ginger, whereas males need only one. This means there are roughly three males to one female ginger cat. If both parents are ginger, then they will have all ginger kittens as well. And that's pretty cool. I didn't actually know that. I thought that it was just a recessive gene that popped up randomly throughout the cat. So now that I've told you why gingy cats are super awesome, I want to share some things about Zoya with you so you can get to know her a little better. Zoya doesn't actually talk much unless she wants food, and then she is very vocal. Very, very vocal. Zoya and Elena both actually do tricks. And yes, cats are trainable. You can teach them to do tricks. All you have to do is just find that jackpot treat that they will go ape over and just withhold that from them and only use that for treat time when you're training them. And for this next one, we're gonna head over to our resident Ukrainian because my Ukrainian pronunciations aren't the best. So let's have my husband Dan explain this next part. Her name means star in Ukrainian and is a variation of three Slavic goddess sisters. Zoria Vechernyaya represents the evening star, Mercury. Zoria Utrenyaya, the morning star, and Zoria Polichnaya, the midnight star. Why do you like Zoya? She's our chubbins. <laughs> All right, so what I love about Zoe is that she's an independent cat, yet she's still full of love. So after every shower, she always comes up for snuggles and she really loves to play. So even though she spends all day by herself, uh, she definitely loves uh, the attention and, and to give love as well. 
Another fun fact about Zoya is that she has a ton of nicknames. Like I I don't even I don't even think I can count how many nicknames she has. But the very first nickname that she had when we got her as a rescue kitten was Zoya the Destroyer from the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. And as a kitten, she was a total destroyer. And she still is when she gets the zoomies, which in our household we like to call losing your noodle or losing your mind. She just goes full on Zoya Destroya mode and goes crazy. Another awesome thing about Zoya is that she is most affectionate with me when I'm having a down day or when depression or anxiety just grips me. It's like she knows and she's like, hey human, you need a little extra love today. I'll just go ahead and give it to you. Whereas normally with me, she would holds it a little bit and is a little more spicy and sassy with me and with my husband Dan she just loves on him like no other all the time regardless of how he's feeling or what kind of day he's having. <laughs> Zoya is a shoulder cat but she doesn't like to be a scarf so she'll just hang out up on your shoulder but she doesn't like to be wrapped around the back of your neck and just like hang on you like a scarf. And here's a super weird thing that I'm sure that most cat owners can relate to. Her favorite toys are garbage. Yes, garbage. She loves bottle caps, like little plastic bottle caps the most. That is her favorite thing in the world. And then crepe paper. So anytime we have a package that has like that brown paper in it, she goes crazy over it. So we'll get a package, I'll take the package out, and then I'm like, hey Zoya, I have something for you. And just she comes over and she like reaches up and grabs the box down so she can not necessarily get into the box it's so she can get to the crinkly paper she is super cute and super crazy sometimes and her other favorite toy is a little mini wiffle ball and it's about the size of a ping pong ball and she actually chases it around and carries it around like a dog in her mouth We'll see her like pick it up and then just run around the apartment with with this wiffle ball in her mouth and she's she's so silly sometimes but it's super cute all right for this last one let's see if we can get zoya back so zoya is an awesome awesome sous chef she loves to smell every ingredient that we put into the pan and just see what we're doing up there but along with being an awesome sous chef, makes her a little bit of a chubbins. And I read somewhere that ginger cats are normally fat cats, and I don't know that that's true. I mean, I guess any cat can be a fat cat, but she definitely is a little chubbins, and we didn't realize she was stealing our black cat, Elena's food, and that is part of the reasons why this one is a little bit of a chubbins. Uh, so now we have their food separated. We have Elena's food up a little bit higher so Zoya can't get to it. And then we've got a automatic feeder that we're gonna be trying out to see if she likes it and if that helps manage her weight and makes her a happier, healthier kitty. And also so the vet doesn't wag his finger at us then at the next vet appointment. Cause we definitely have uh, gotten that response from him before. So we actually do monthly weigh-ins with our cats to make sure that they aren't overweight and that they're eating the right amount. And we don't give them that many treats. We actually make them work for their treats and do tricks and they only get treats like a couple of times a week. But this one, little Zoya, who is not so little, loves to steal the other kitty's food. So that is all we have for you today. Zoya the Destroya, whose current nickname is Zini, inspired by uh, the disenchanted Netflix show, Tia Beanie. Zoya is Tia Zini in our house. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today and I'm sure that Zoya is super grateful that this video is over with because she was not having it today, especially with the lawnmower that was going by. You can catch me over on Instagram at alzindigo, that's where I am most, or over on my website alzindigo.com where I share weekly spirituality tips, writing and journaling prompts, little tidbits about the moon and how to move through the lunar phases with your goal setting. I actually have a lot of videos on that so I'll leave a link down below so you can check that out and learn how to set goals by the moon phases with me. I also talk about mental health and awareness and my story. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!